Who else saw Gymshark launch new Vital Seamless colors? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. We are here to chat about these new colors. I just happened to be stalking their website as usual, and I stumbled across new Vital colors. Not a crazy drop. I'm referring to what dropped on the US website, so it's three new Vital colors. Brick Marl Red, Brick Red Marl, <laughs> Evening Blue Marl, and Woodland Green Marl. But before we get into this video, you know the drill. If you are not already, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm telling you, this month, Gymshark's releasing a bunch of new big hitter pieces. We'll be reviewing all of that here on this channel. Everything you see in today's video is in my true size small. I will have my measurements right here for you. They'll also be in the description box for you to reference. And I will have each item individually linked below as well, in case you wanna take a closer look. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but aside from the new Vital colors, they also launched random new things like for example this training bra i had to snag it because it's beautiful tropic blue color yeah and they snuck in a brand new legging that i personally am dying to try it's called the warp knit have you guys seen it i've been hearing really good things about this legging so i went ahead and grabbed that as well so you can expect a review if you'd like to see it let me know i do feel like these new drops were overshadowed by the new whitney drop i do understand that i mean January was the month of Whitney, all right? It was her final collection. So I feel like these little baby launches were just sprinkled over the month. Just a little topping on top of that cake, that Whitney cake. Okay, so I have all the new pieces back here. They're too far away, but I can grab them for me. <laughs> so today what I have to share with you, we're looking at all three leggings. We have all three new sports bras. I also grabbed one of their high neck midi long sleeve tops. This only came out in the red and the woodland green. Now I do believe this is brand new. And if it's not, well, it's new to me, but I think this is a new piece. We're looking at the midi tank top, all right? No padding, nothing in it, just a tank top to put over your set. Now I got the woodland green, but they came in all colors, including black. You will see that they launched some pieces in black. Now they did also launch shorts and some tops. Didn't grab any of those. I'm not a huge fan of the vital shorts to be honest i feel like those they're just thigh cinchers on me right and i could do without that we all know the vital collections known for their dotted contour and their marl breakup if you look closely the brick red has a really dark brown contour and marl breakup the woodland green however is a little bit different this one's actually as solid as can be you have tonal contour and tonal marl. So it looks like just a solid green legging. So for my girls who just like to keep it really simple, check out the woodland green. You won't even see the contour unless you're really up close like me. And lastly, the evening blue. So unlike the brick red that had the real dark contour, the dark marl, the evening blue has a light marl, white marl to be exact. So it gives the appearance of more of a heathered look, heathered design, gives a little more of a cooler tone, nice and light, matches the logo really nicely. But the dotted contour is a darker tonal color. So you have the dark evening blue color going throughout, but again, that marl breakup just makes the rest of the legging look naturally lighter. So while we're talking leggings, keep in mind, I have done so many vital reviews on this channel, it hurts. <laughs> so if you need a vital 2.0 review, check out my Gymshark playlist. I probably have quite a few for you. But we all know Gymshark likes to switch things up from time to time. So in case you're wondering if anything has changed, in terms of material, nothing has changed, especially from what I'm able to detect. We still have a high compression legging. I am gonna note something though, after trying on all three legging colors, the least compressive throughout, I'm not just talking the waistband, but throughout the whole legging, is the brick red. Blew me away. The brick red's the first one I tried on, and I thought for a second, just a hot second, that they went to the OG material. Just because the way it grabbed my glutes and things like that, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Then I tried on the other ones, and I was like, okay, no, this is definitely the 2.0 legging. The fit of the other two, very similar. This one stood out to me, just letting that be known. It's to the point where when I was wearing this legging, I even worked out in the gym with it, you'll see some overlap of that. I felt like if I'm in between with this color, I could have gotten away with sizing down. Whereas if I'm in between with the woodland green and the evening blue, I probably would have sized up because these were very compressive around the waistband. I'll show you guys some comparisons. This one stretched out big time. Pulling on the leggings, or the waistband, the glute space, I mean, it was all there in this legging. So each of these leggings, they were about 85, 90% squat proof. I can't give it 100%. Now that's in this room with natural daylight and additional lighting. As much lighting as humanly possible, pretty much. 85 to 90%. But at the gym, 
getting down low to the flow. They seemed 100% squat proof. So the lower lighting, it really does make a difference. Totally acceptable to wear to the gym. I'm also wearing black undies in all of the overlap. So if anything, just stick to a nude underwear and you'll be fine. Also, something relatively new that we've been trying since last year is the sweat test. I mean, I take a spray bottle, I squirt my skin right under the band area about 12 times to mimic me actually sweating and then seeing if the sweat shows through the legging and how fast it wicks off of my skin. We performed the sweat test on each of these colors and it held up so beautifully. Also a huge benefit to that moral, your sweat blends right in. So if sweat happens to show like on this light blue, I think I saw a very little bit. It looked like part of the Marl design. I do believe that the Vital Collection is made for performance. I've said this before, I'm saying it again. Highly compressive, they hold you in. A huge thing I like is the fact that it smooths you out and does not show cellulite, especially for being under 60 bucks, not bad. Vital Seamless 2.0, one of the best Gymshark gym leggings to date. So let's take a look at these sports bras. Do you remember the old, Vital seamless sports bra, right? Light as a feather, not very flattering on the girls. Well, the past couple launches is when they came out with this V-neck sports bra. And the straps are adjustable in different ways. Not only can you make them tighter or looser, but they also have a swan hook right here that comes apart. You can crisscross it in the back or have them straight down. Up to you. I actually have some likes and dislikes when it comes to this sports bra. Do you want the dislikes first? Probably. I think it's a cute look, I do. I think the V-neck line adds a little bit of femininity, helps you just feel yourself a little bit. The one thing about the bra that I kind of can't get behind is the fact that right here, there is a thick seam that borders the top back of the bra here. This and only this part digs in my back a bit. Now, if I sized up, well, first of all, I can't. <laughs> I don't have big enough hoo-hahs to do that. So I would have some gaping going on in the front. Even if you adjust these straps, it doesn't do anything because it doesn't change this area here. Other than that, the straps are very comfortable. I do love the fact that there's removable bra padding, but it is very low support. As somebody who does not need high support, I'm really not a jumping kind of person when I exercise. Clearly, I like the low support sports bras. The only thing with this particular bra is right here at the V. There's no real push to this. So my boobies just kind of feel like they're deflated in this. If they just added a little push on the sides here, <laughs> just help me out of it. Now, even though it doesn't provide much in the cleavage department, it's still a good sports bra. I can get low and nothing's hanging or spilling out, so that's good. I always found this weird that the vital leggings are high support, but their matching sports bra is low support. Total opposites, yin and yang. If you've ever watched my Gymshark videos where I talk about the Vital Long Sleeve, they're one of my favorite tighter long sleeves to work out in because they're so lightweight. Just like the rest of the sets, I mean, I have to hand it to them. For such a nice supportive legging, everything's pretty lightweight, breathable as heck. The long sleeve is no different. The long sleeves that I'm used to from Gymshark had a normal neckline and were way shorter. Even though I really loved wearing them to the gym, when I would put my arms up, they would always come above my sports bra. Sports bra would be just hanging out, having fun. And I always secretly wished, no, I don't think it was a secret. I think I mentioned it to you guys, how I wish that they made them just a little bit lengthier. And they did that with this. I'm actually a really big fan of the high neck. I feel like it gives such a powerful look to a set. So we still have the thumb holes, which I like. I feel like if you don't have thumb holes in a long sleeve athletic top, what are you even doing? I actually tested this out at the gym doing pull downs. I wanted to see how much it would ride up and what better exercise than pull downs. It did ride up a little bit. In fact, you can see in the footage, it got a little bunchy right here around the neck area. It was okay though, no sports bras were showing. Check out the seam contour though. Just like the OG, it goes right across the shoulders, right up the neck. I think that's so cool. And if you look closely, other than the dotted contour that you have to match the other pieces to the set, you also have a little bit of that ribbed contour going on right down here. This is what's gonna help cinch the material in. Actually, a big reason why these are my favorite long sleeve to work out in, if I'm going for a tight fit, is because of the stretch. Other than it being lightweight, it's very stretchy and very comfortable to actually move around in. If you wear this top, you better not have to take it off because you're sweaty like me. Taking this thing off in the gym is a bitch. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with long sleeves. 
They look so good. I have great intentions. When I go to the gym and I'm cold, I mean, it was 37 degrees outside today. I said, heck yeah, to a long sleeve. But when I get in there and I start actually pumping some iron, my body temperature rises and I feel like I'm gonna pass out. So this has to come off my body. As lightweight as it is, it should, you gotta come off. So when I do that, it's game over, okay? Say goodbye to your fresh ponytail. Say goodbye to your earbuds. And it's not disgusting that I picked up headphones off the gym floor and reused them. This midi tank was not as form-fitted as I had anticipated, especially compared to the other vital pieces that I have today, like the long sleeve, for example. I think this piece is a nice addition to the sets. This way, you don't have to wear a full length. You can still let the glutes show. You can still, it's a nice body fit. You can still see yourself but it still covers your abdominal area. You do have to wear a sports bra underneath though. You absolutely do because there's no padding, nothing. It's thin. The neckline is similar to the sports bra, whereas the sports bra was more of an acute V-neck. This is a bit more obtuse. Right underneath the bust is where I felt extra material. I do think, and especially if you're in between, you can get away with sizing down. If you want it to be more of a form fit, like the rest of the set, Keep in mind these straps, they are not adjustable like the sports bra. I thought they were at first. In fact, if you look closely, what the heck am I looking at? Especially because where these two straps connect, where they're actually sewn together, is very bulky. It literally looks like an adjustable plastic slider. So if you see it on the website and you're like, oh good, that's adjustable, it's not. I did move around in this a lot, and I will have to say, something that's a plus is right here in the midsection, it does not budge, it wrinkles, which isn't good. But if you're really working out, at least it's not sliding. There's no shifting up or anything like that. So I'm actually thinking this is more athleisure for me than anything, I think with some high-waisted jeans. So right now I will add in some pictures of color comparisons just to give you guys an idea because it's no secret that Gymshark, they tend to come out with similar shades, but it can get confusing if you're like, wait a minute, didn't I see that color before? These are just the color comparisons that came to my head right away. Like for example, the rosewood, I said, oh my God, the brick red is so similar to that, but the rosewood is definitely more of a yellow undertone. Now you're probably thinking, is that all you have to compare it to? Come on, Ash. Truth is, all of my Gymshark, not all of it, most of my Gymshark is in storage right now because I'm redoing my walk-in closet. If you guys caught my Instagram stories, I just started to really try on this walk-in closet. It's our second bedroom and I'm just getting all new shelving in place and things like that. So what you see in these photos is just what I had on hand. Because honestly, I wasn't even really planning on doing this vital review. There's big Gymshark videos coming up. So I was like, do we have time to do this video? Is this gonna happen? But I know a lot of you had some questions. So please let me know if you find this video helpful and do not forget to subscribe. Trust me, with what's to come, you're not gonna wanna miss it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in my next video.